Hey guys, welcome to Tropical Flower Gardening. I am Dr. Manisha. Guys, today's video is on pineapple. Pineapple is one of my favorite fruits and I have been growing them in my garden for more than 5 years now. And in this video, I will share my experience with you guys. I am growing them in containers as well as in the ground and every year I harvest about 5 to 6 fruits. I will be talking about the conditions suitable for growing them. I will also explain what are slips, suckers, ratoon and how to use them to make new plants. I will also share tips on how to get your plant to start fruiting and also when to harvest the fruit. It is a bit long video with useful information so please watch till the end to learn all the tips to experience the joy of growing your own pineapple in your tropical garden. First, some general information about pineapple. Pineapple is a tropical fruit native to South America. It belongs to the bromeliad family and its botanical name is Ananas comosus. Growing pineapples in your garden is incredibly easy if you can provide two key elements. Plenty of sunlight and a loose, aerated, well-draining soil. You also need to have lots of patience as the time taken by the plant to start fruiting can be variable from 6 months to 2 years or even longer. But in the end, you will be rewarded with a juicy delicious fruit packed with nutrients like vitamin C, vitamin A and various minerals like magnesium, potassium, copper and others. Pineapple is also a rich source of antioxidants and has the enzyme bromelain which helps in digestion. To start growing pineapple, you don't need to go to any nursery. Just request your fruit vendor to give you the crown of the pineapple and start growing it right away. Crown, crown is the leafy top area of the fruit. So what type of soil is needed for growing pineapples? Pineapple needs a well draining, sandy or loamy soil which is slightly acidic with a pH of 5 or 6. You can add river sand, perlite or peat moss to make it well draining. Now I will show you how I grow new plants from the crown of the pineapple. I have just harvested this gorgeous golden yellow pineapple from my terrace garden and I have kept a 12 inch container ready. I will be cutting the crown of the fruit and will be directly planting it in the container. If you wish, you can remove the bottom few leaves and keep the crown in the glass of water for few weeks until the roots develop. But I have been directly planting the crown straight into the container which already has a well draining soil but I will be adding some river sand to make it more loose and airy. I have kept some river sand ready over here. But instead of river sand, you can add perlite or peat moss to make the soil loose, aerated and well drained. I've also kept this organic fertilizer made from castor cake which will provide nutrition for the crown to grow. But instead of this, you can, you can use any organic fertilizer of your choice such as vermicompost or any other locally available organic fertilizer. The crown is now being cut off from the fruit with the help of a knife. The crown has been separated from the fruit and you can see the base of this crown. It is looking absolutely clean and there are no remnants of the fruit attached to the base of the crown. If you see any remnants of the fruit attached to the base, please remove it before planting this crown into the soil. Now we are adding sand to the potting mix and adding the organic fertilizer to the potting mix. Mix everything thoroughly well and your potting mix is ready. Now a hole is being dug for the crown to get planted into this container. Plant the crown into this hole. Gently press the soil all around the crown so that the crown stays firm in the soil. Water thoroughly and keep this container in a shaded area for about 15 days 
After that, you can start gradually exposing the container to sunlight, initially for half an hour and later on maybe for, for an hour and so on. So this is the update of the crown after a month and you can see that the crown is well settled in the soil and it is doing well and you can even see a new growth emerging. I have directly grown this crown in a big container but if you wish you can initially start growing it in a smaller container and later on you can transplant it to a bigger container. I am also growing some of my pineapple plants in the ground and for that I have prepared raised beds using bricks and the same soil mixture has been added inside the bed. The reason for making the raised beds is that we get very heavy rainfall here and it rains for days together which can result in water logging and cause root rot. Raised beds filled with well draining sandy mix protects the plant from rain damage. Give organic fertilizers to your pineapple plant every 2 to 3 months. You can give vermicompost, cow dung manure, neem or mustard fertilizers, compost, liquid homemade fertilizer using banana or onion peel or even liquid organic fertilizers which use fish emulsion and sea weed. The leaves of the pineapple plant are arranged in a rosette pattern to collect rainwater and dew which is then used by the plant. The long, sword-like leaves have a waxy cuticle to prevent the loss of water by evaporation. Hence, you don't need to water the plant regularly. You may water just once or twice a week. Water when you find the top soil is dry. Ensure adequate drainage holes in the container. Pineapple is a drought-tolerant plant once established in soil. It does not like soggy soil and it is quite prone to root rot. The ideal growing conditions for pineapple plant are a warm tropical climate, direct sunlight of minimum 6 hours daily, a temperature between 18 and 35 degrees Celsius, a humidity of 40 to 60 percent, a well draining soil with a slightly acidic pH between 5 and 6. Given the right growing conditions, your plant should start fruiting in 2 years or so. Initially, you will see a tiny bud at the base in the center of the leaves. This bud grows gradually and rises on a stalk. You will then see the inflorescence made up of multiple tiny flowers. The inflorescence has 50 to 200 individual flowers. The flowers are purple blue in color and look quite pretty. Each flower turns into a small fruit or fruitlet which then fuse together to form a single fruit of pineapple. As the pineapple grows in size, it becomes heavy and may start leaning and then you need to give support to the fruit, otherwise it may just fall off under its own weight. To prevent this, insert a bamboo stick or a metal rod into the soil and lightly tie the fruit to it, as it is seen in this clip. This way you can save the fruit from falling off before it reaches maturity. Which brings us to the next question, when to harvest the fruit? Pineapples mature and ripen on the plant itself. So you have to wait until the fruit ripens on the plant and gets ready to harvest. As the fruit ripens, the skin starts turning yellow from green. Wait until at least half of the fruit turns yellow. The mature and ready fruit also emits a sweet aroma. To harvest it, simply twist the stalk and take the fruit out. The time taken from the appearance of the bud to mature ripe fruit is approximately 4 to 5 months depending on the local climate. Pineapple fruits grown in the home gardens tend to be smaller than the commercially grown fruits as we don't use any chemicals to artificially increase the size of the fruit. The taste of the home grown pineapples is far superior compared to the commercially produced fruits as it is grown organically and eaten fresh after harvesting it. Pineapple plants are rarely affected by pests and disease. 
mealybugs and scales may affect them and root rot can be seen due to overwatering. Let's now see what are slips, suckers and ratoon. Suckers are offshoots that emerge from the underground roots and are seen within the leaves of the mother plant. Ratoons are suckers that start bearing fruit and they are called ratoon suckers and the fruit ratoon fruit. In this clip you can see the mother plant which has got a big size pineapple and next to it is a ratoon sucker and it has already started bearing a tiny little baby pineapple fruit. So that sucker is called ratoon sucker and the fruit is called ratoon fruit. Slips are the offshoots that grow from the stem of the mother plant and often from the base of the fruit. In this clip you can see slips from the base of the fruit and you can also see one sucker which is growing from the base of the mother plant. So suckers, ratoons and slips are like offsprings of the mother plant which can be used to grow new plants. Removing and separating the suckers and ratoons from the mother plant can be a bit tricky as the leaves of the plant have spikes and you may injure yourself while doing so. However, it is quite easy to remove the slips from the harvested fruit. See how easily the slip is being separated from the fruit. After removing these slips, you can just plant them in another container. In fact, plants grown from these offshoots start fruiting earlier than those grown from the crown. However, not all varieties of pineapple produce these offshoots, but whenever they do, they can be grown to make new plants. Some you can grow in your own garden. As you can see, there are so many plants growing in my garden which have been grown from slips as well as from crown. And some you can gift, give them away to your friends and neighbors and just watch the joy on their faces. Now guys coming to the question that how to get your plants to start producing fruit. Your plant will start producing fruit once it reaches maturity which is usually when you see about 70 to 80 leaves on the plant or when the plant is about 2 years old. If it doesn't start producing fruits even after that you can give your plant onion peel water, banana peel water which are great for boosting the overall growth of the plant as well as for fruiting. You can also add some bone meal powder into the soil. Some people use coffee grounds in the soil as it makes the soil acidic and help, helps the plant to fruit. Some people also keep ripe apple or ripe bananas in between the leaves as the ripe fruits emit ethylene gas which stimulates fruiting. I have never tried using such methods although I do use onion and banana peel water in my garden. My pineapple plants have been fruiting on their own probably because the local climate here is very conducive to the growth of the pineapple plants. To conclude, grow your pineapple plant in your tropical garden in an extremely well draining soil in full sunlight of at least 6 hours, water carefully, do not overwater, give organic fertilizers every 2 months and you will be rewarded with a sweet, tangy, tasty, nutrient rich fruit. And guys, with that we come to the end of this video. Hope you found it useful and informative. Please post your comments, like and share this video and I'll see you in my next video. Until then, take care and happy gardening.